Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Onyx here, Going Full Nerd, and welcome to something I haven't done in a while, which is coffee time with your favorite nerd. Hey, well, you know, coffee time, if you remember from the Periscope days, I used to kind of share information, how I was feeling, things that kind of grind my gears, tick me off, and kind of make you think, why is this even happening? So, pretty much over the past couple of days, I've been doing my best, and you know, I've been on here on YouTube for a couple of years now, and you know, most of it is my fault, because I really don't publish a lot of videos. I, I you know, now I'm kind of constant, I do at least one video a week, um, it's hard for me to keep up, especially school full-time, work full-time, but... Hey, everybody got to have that hustle. We do what we do, how we can do it, when we can do it, and we do what we can. And, you know, one of my mantras for coffee time was, you know, if you can't do something nice or say something nice to somebody, don't say it at all. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and break my mantra today because I've got a problem. And the problem is that, you know... I'm not going to blame my YouTube growth on others. That is, that's just like the dumbest way to go out. And it, that would actually fall in line with a crabs in a barrel mentality. Somebody's doing better. I'm going to say something to drag them down. No, it doesn't work that way for me. But I can say that I'm going to tell you what I like and don't like about the competition. I mean... Is it really competition? No, because I only got 765 subscribers as of this recording. That's it, 765. I need like 235 more before I can get to 1,000. And even that's not the end, and hopefully it won't be the end. And, you know, the key is, is to get tons of views on these videos. So, I took a look. I went and searched on... YouTube, and I went and found other black nerds. I mean, you know, that. I mean, there's a lot of nerd channels. Don't get it wrong. There's a ton of nerd channels. But uh, you would be surprised at how many successful or at least popular or at least searchable black nerd channels there are. Now, there's a couple. Everybody knows, oh, you know, and, I, and I'm not really classifying everybody as nerds. That's just the search term I pulled up, and it gave me the channels that I'm going to talk to you about right now. Now, am I su subscribed to all of these channels? Yes. Yes, I am. You know, some people would say, yo, keep it hood. You know, you keep your enemies close, and you keep your friends close, and your enemies closer. Well, none of them are enemies. These are just, this is just different takes different um, viewpoints, and different lifestyles of nerds you'll find on YouTube. I'm going to tell you what I like about each channel, and I'm going to tell you what I don't like, okay? It's not meant to be mean. It's not meant to be silly, but it's meant to make you think, and that's what I like to do, make you think. Cerebral, that, yeah, keep it that way. You know, because there's people that'll say, you know, my channel is, you know, some people will call my channel hot garbage. Fine. You know, but I take pride in what I do and I like what I do, so I'm going to keep doing it. And that's just going to be the same for all these. What I'm about to say, whether you choose to watch them or not, is on you. So let me hit the first channel. This one, this is probably the most popular black nerd channel that I've seen online. Because every time somebody says, black nerd, this dude shows up. And I'm, I'm sure you know who it is. Bang. This guy, Andre the Black Nerd, never met him. My boy Dame Drops met him. You know, that makes me know never mind. But, you know, I look at his channel as this is the pop most popular, not even the most popular, but this is a black nerd channel, okay? You know, I mean, what he, got, what he does, I mean, he's really big into a lot of stuff that I'm not. He plays a lot of Nintendo. He uh, does the Power Ranger stuff. And that's his thing. That's his genre. That's where he makes his money. But in addition, he's got it on lock because the reason why I say he's got it on lock is because what he's dealing with, 
unlike my channel, he keeps it clean. He keeps the language, you know, pretty straightforward. He is an advertiser's dream. The non-threatening black man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. And with that, there's nothing wrong with that. And matter of fact, applaud. That's why he's in the Regal movie theaters, you know. But would I try to emulate or copy? I could. But it's not really a boy's style. I mean, but you got to give credit where credit is due. And Andre the Black Nerd is one of those hot channels that if you're not checking it out, you may want to check it out. Okay? Let's move on. Boom! Blurreds Online. Now, furthest from Andre the Black Nerd is Blurreds Online. Now, Blurreds Online, I follow them because they're a little rougher, okay? Their videos, they're not really big on their YouTube, but they got a real big Instagram and Twitter presence, and I and Facebook, and I and I follow them and watch and listen and read because they, you know, it's almost like that's they're they're like the the, the Malcolm X of you know black nerds on online, and you know that's their draw, you know, but. Do we see any, like, major marketing deals coming out these cats? Nope. Heck, we can't even get them up to 600 subscribers. So, you know, at least not on YouTube. Twitter, Facebook, you know, hey, they on point. They got some real funny stuff, but they got some real sarcastic, biting humor. Not for all audiences. That, that, some audience don't, don't really dig on that. So, you know, that, that's what's up with Blurs Online. I like it. You know, I dig it, you know. Hey, it is what it is. That's what they do. So, hey, you know, let it roll. Let it roll. So next up, this is my man, Sincere B. I got to give Sincere B a little applause because he tunes into your boy. He is supportive, you know. He is supportive of others, and I give him that credit. I mean, and it's tight. You know, we chat back and forth. He pops in on my YouTube slash you now live stream Sundays at six that I call the talk show. And, you know, we go back and forth. He talks. Hey, he shows love. And that's how we should be with all the channels. Um, this channel is actually probably the closest in style to mine. I don't do a lot of game play like he does, but the language the mentality and the honesty from the channel I think is along the lines that you know that I've been trying to do so you know you gotta give them a plot now I'm like I say I'm not knocking any of these channels but you know hey some people might be a little upset because hey I show a little gray my man said said B he got he got a little gray on him too you know we got a little age on us so we know the old school stuff but that's how that works okay that's you know, hey, we were nerds. We were we were blurs before they even made up the term. So let me just throw that out there like that. All right. So something to think about. Now let's move on. I really okay. I'm, 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 before I move on, I'm gonna talk about this next channel that I'm gonna pull up. This next channel really, really is popular. It's got like over a million million subscribers but this channel it just it just it, it, it gets under my skin and maybe it's the individual he's probably the nicest guy ever but there's a term that I don't feel comfortable with and he in my opinion personifies it and I think we need to get away from this because even though it's popular and going I think it's popular for the wrong reasons because I think people want to see it because of how he does his stuff. And that's this guy, Lamar Wilson. He's got, his, his channel's got like, well, especially with the intro, it's that 80s sitcom vibe, like, oh, did I do it? But, bruh, come on, man. Come on, man. I, I need you to be a little more, we're nerds, okay? We get it. All right, but I mean, 
it, I know it works for you. That's your shtick. It's probably not how you act in real life. That's that's cool by me. But uh, I, I, I'm really not feeling the image that you're putting forward. That's me. Am I subscribed to your channel? Actually, no. I don't think I am. I have to take a look. I don't think I am. I mean, I come across your channel. It took me a while to find your channel today. So, I don't think I'm subscribed. And the reason why, I mean, let's take a look at your, let's look at your channel banner. I, I don't think we need to be making faces like that, yo. I mean, really? Really? Now, there's going to be people who be like, oh, he's sweet. He's got a, and that's cool. But, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be stepping and fetching anytime soon. That's just how I feel when I look at his channel. That's me. Does great unboxings. Don't get it twisted. He shows the hotness. I mean, he shows the gear. He shows the hotness. But all this, ooh, ah, ooh, I, I can't deal with it, man. I can't deal with it. That's why, that's why I can't do it. But there's a million people that like it. But who are those million people? Mm. I mean, I'm just saying. That, that's just me. That's just me. And then last but not least, there's one more channel. There's one more channel. And this one, he does reaction videos to pretty much everything that comes across YouTube. And, and that's Tyrone Magnus <laughs> with a name like that. I mean... <laughs> This is another uh, stereotype. I mean, he breaks the nerd stereotype. You know, he's kind of kind of swole. You know, got that hard look. You know, you know, and and he, that's this is his swag. I like watching it, um, basically because I like I like his reactions. I mean, it it, it gets me now. This is the thing about. Black nerds, and I'm gonna throw this out here. I mean, yeah. let me let me let me throw this out here. Let me get all this stuff off the screen. Let me let me get rid of that. Get rid of this. All right. Let me tell you about just being a black nerd. All right. It's rough enough being a nerd nowadays, but to be a black nerd, you got a couple of things you got to deal with. You know, we got diversity in the movies and comics. That's an issue now. We've got problems, you know, with all these different, everything matters nowadays, you know, my thing is, is, you know, how can we build upon what has been done by, you know, groundbreaking people, you know, in nerd culture, let me throw it out there like that, you know, um, you know, it, it's, it makes me wonder if we put these, you know, personalities out and we do certain things, does this take away from whatever message we're trying to put forward? I mean, it's, it's a little deep and this might be too deep for the channel. Hey, I'm going to throw this up and see how it takes. Hopefully people see it. But the line is, is this, you know, we got to give what we, we got to treat people the way we want to be treated. And we got to show people the mentality that we want to show and how we want to be seen as. So, it is what it is. Like I say, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. I think I said something nice about everybody, just a little bit. Even if it's, hey, they got their hustle. That, that's the biggest thing. So, that's your boy. That's my, that's my mindset. That's my coffee time with your favorite nerd. Um... Try to get another review, try to get some more uh, YouTube-related hints and tips from a growing channel on the troubles that I, the troubles I've seen. You know, throw it out there like that. But peace out. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoy. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Peace. I'm out.